Good day, everybody. My name is Dr. Sanjay Sanya, and I shall be, I'm a surgeon by profession, and I shall be demonstrating a few ophthalmic instruments. The first instrument that you see here in front of you, this is known as a pair of artery forceps. Now, there are plenty of types of artery forceps, depending on their sizes, and whether the tip is straight or curved. This is a straight artery forceps. And because it is less than four inches or four inches long, it is also referred to as a mosquito or a Halstead's forceps. What are the components of an artery forcep? First, we have these two ring handles. The ring finger goes through the lower ring, the thumb goes through the upper ring. Then we have this catch, the ratchet catch. It's got three clicks of the catch, depending on how much pressure we want to apply. Then we have this joint here. This is a box type of joint. It's a unique joint insofar that one limb goes through the other limb. Therefore, less chances of slipping or breaking. And finally, we have the jaws. The jaws are different in an artery forcep compared to that of a needle holder. In a needle holder, the jaws are small and more stout because they have to hold the suturing needle. In this case, the needle, the jaws are a little long and more slender. And if you see the inside, you'll find a number of horizontal serrations. So what's the purpose of an artery forcep? The straight artery forcep is used to hold tissues and it's used to hold sutures, stay sutures. And these serrations are meant to get a firm grip. So this is a straight artery forcep. Before I conclude, we can also have a curved artery forcep. The curved artery forcep is used to hold small bleeding vessels and therefore it is also referred to as a hemostat forceps. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.